what, I, what I'd like to do is get a little bit of sense as to um, what do you think, what words would you have for another musician talking about, you know, what do you do to play for a contraband, a contra dance, in other words, do you do anything different with the music or what kind of music do you play? Um, usually old time bands, uh, we're a little bit different here because we have Meredith playing the piano. Normally we play in an old time string band and we just play the way we play except one thing you usually have to do is slow it down for the contra dance. We tend to play a lot faster than contra dances uh, in, in old time music. Uh, so we have to slow it down. You have to make sure to use a square tune, but anybody that gets into it will know that stuff. The, the contra dance bands, bands that mainly play contra dances, have all kinds of gimmicks and, you know, dynamics and key changes and, and medleys and stuff like that that they do. Old time bands don't tend to do that. So you, you get better advice about contra dance playing from a contra dance band, I think. Right, but we do get we do get old time bands yeah. coming through and people like a lot of people like the old time and bands. And there are a few old time bands that gear themselves toward contra dances like the uh, Red Mountain White Trash and a couple others and they play medleys in different keys. They don't have a five string banjo. The reason we don't, don't play in different keys is because we're tuned to the key we're in. So by we're, way of the banjo. By way of the banjo. And oh, okay. The, so I mean it's it's it, 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 most of the professional contra dance bands I know don't get together and play except for dances or rehearsal for a dance. Old time musicians, it's a whole other world. We just get together and play music all the time. And then we apply that music to a contra dance when we get asked to play it. So we're more of a purely musical group of musicians. Right. Do you do anything with the phrasing? Because I was listening to your music tonight because people talk about that, and, you know, looking for the emphasis on the switches between the A's and the B's and stuff. Right. And it seemed your music had a a fairly I, good that's because we have yeah. a piano. A fairly good definition on that. Right. Yeah. yeah, I'm doing more of that on the piano and a little bit more dynamics um, and a few more uh, bass lines than I would if I was playing bass in a string band. I, I would keep it more simple. And that's one, one of the reasons is because I'm playing the equivalent of both the guitar and the bass part on the piano. So I can kind of fool around with it. I don't have to coordinate with someone else as I might in a string band. And I'm playing pretty just straight the way I play. And when it's a full old time string band, it's a little more thick because there's four, usually four instruments. Fiddle, banjo, guitar, and, and we, we've consciously thrown out dynamics. We don't want dynamics. They're, you know, like going up and going down. We, when, when you, know, you, mean, you mean in volume or in, in uh, volume or, or in pitch or yeah. in, in anything? I mean, we, what as old, and this old time music, yes, that's which we mean. apply to country dancing. But what we want to do is get into a big fat groove where we don't like look up. We just like get down there and just play. And so anything like going, hey, look at this. We don't do that. Like we try to just keep it rolling. And there are certain contra dancers that really appreciate that because there's kind of a, a groove without gimmicks that that is that is very deep. But with the piano, we're able, you know, we are doing a little bit of that kind of stuff. We both played with contra dance bands, um, so we know how that stuff works. It's just a choice on our part to uh, to not. Well, and it's also um, not just a choice on our individual parts, but the music tradition in general for old time music, if you listen to all the old recordings, it's just people playing on their porches and they don't have a reason to go up and down or anything, they just settle into that tune. Get down in the groove. And, and that's off. sort of what we're, we're following through with that line of tradition. Right. Yeah, most, most of the country dance bands aren't connected to tradition in the way that old time bands are. I mean, they're definitely is a New England dance tradition, but most contra dance bands are taking stuff from Irish music, from, from rock and roll, they'll be playing calypso rhythms. It's a whole other movement and a modern movement of music. And we're, we're more connected to an old tradition of Appalachian uh, string band playing. Now, yeah. now, and then there's, are there different tunes? There words, are, when they talk about New England contra now, versus old time, are you playing a different repertoire? There are crossover oh, yeah. tunes, but yes, it's a diff this is a southern repertoire. Um, 
A lot of the tunes and tune titles, many of them, maybe I should say a lot, Some but of them, many yeah. of them would be the same. It's just that sort of how you play them, which might make a certain sound. But also the country dance bands will very much tend toward Irish music. Yeah. Uh, and we don't play Irish music at all. But it has Irish elements Roots. in yeah, it, but, but it's, it's mixed with African American um, music. Yeah. And, and just as a dividing line, northern music doesn't have that African influence on it, and southern music does. Because the African American yeah. people That's were right where they in were, the south. Right. Yeah. And part. they brought their ideas of music and uh, instruments. And most, most of the banjo is an African right. instrument. So. And most country dance, the country dance world of today is not that connected with the country dance origins in New England. It's more of a, a modern Creative form that's create, been created by some of those bands from New England, but it, now it's, you know, people all over the country do it, and they do it. it. It's in service to the dance, and that's why it works so well for the dance. But it's, that's what they're thinking. We're doing this for the dance. The old-time music thing was more, we're playing music and dancers can dance to it. We're not trying to do it to them. They can climb on board. The contra dance bands are trying to do something to the audience, so it's just a different orientation. Yeah, yeah that's very interesting. It seemed to me that, <clears throat> just in my little bit of playing around, that the um, mm -hmm. the old time music would actually fit better um, for a square dance than a contra. And some of the claims that I've heard from the contra musicians is that when the caller is dropped out, then then you need the music to better define what the pieces of the band were. And I love that about playing contra dances, is the color shows up. Because <laughs> it's always an interference, like a square dance caller is going all the time. You know? right, right. So it, it, we've got a couple square dance callers who call really rhythmically and in tune, so that it's kind of like a vocalist with Ben, and that's good. But when it's just a din that you're playing against, we yeah. gotta go. Good. <laughs> well, I, well, super, thank you very much. Oh, sure. Jim, <laughs> Sourman.